I'm Viviana Olin. I'm Matt Harkins, uh, and we are the curators of the Tanya Harding Nancy Kerrigan 1994 Museum. Which is in our apartment hallway. Yes, it's in our hallway. I noticed I probably had a problem with addiction right away when I was about 17, 18, I guess. Because um, that was when I went to college, and that's when I just immediately noticed that uh, I, don't, I didn't think people were drinking the way I was drinking. Um, and then beyond that, like, it was something that I was pretty much aware of, because I'm not like a functioning uh, drinker, you know? Yeah, like, no, he just, he goes off the rails. He could go real fast off the rails. I had a lot of, like, um, manic depressive tendencies, which can be f really fun and <laughs> really not fun, you know? Like, one day you're like, I'm a sewer rat, and then the other day you're like, I can move things with my mind. <laughs> and so it's, um, it's a fun, interesting way to go through life, and once you learn how to kind of how to, like, balance it and like surround yourself with like supportive people then you can like use it in good ways rather than bad what we try to do since we met each other mm -hmm. is like be supportive and validate each other and say like hey maybe you don't need to do that destructive thing right now we could just watch you know real housewives um, yeah. and uh kind of get through those um those rough patches. For me at least, there's like groups that I go to where I can talk to people who have like similar uh, experiences and then it's just kind of like supporting each other and like getting through that. I mean even like, uh, you know, because when you stop drinking, using whatever, you still do stupid things uh, and it's, it's really hard to do that. Um, I have a tattoo of Joy Behar on my arm. Uh, so I think Which it's... Which was just a choice he made real fast, you know? <laughs> and when he came home with that, I was like, hey, it's great because it's yeah. there, you know? We're going to live with it. Um, but yeah, I think you just talk, talking to people about it as much as you can. His tools help me so much. And being in a positive environment with somebody who doesn't drink and who doesn't cope that way has had me, like, have to look at my life and say, okay, well, this is all just escapism and I'm not going to deal with my fundamental problems so I may not have been taught go to bed at this hour and wake up and get out but I can teach myself those things and I can break that cycle and I know that when I have kids uh, I'll know that this is an important lesson to teach them and that's that's the that's the best thing that you can do for yourself and for the world you know and there's a lot of like if you have like a, if you're like if you want help with addiction there's so many resources that are there you just kind of have to want the help. The way to evolve is to break a cycle. And if it's never too late to do that, you know, and you make and you can fall off and you can mess up and it's like totally allowed to like fuck up. Uh, but you know, you, every day is a new choice. <laughs> uh, everyone's everything's gonna be fine. Uh, you know, just um, just do make positive choices when you can, and if you don't, then make one tomorrow. You know, uh, you're 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 gonna be fine, right? Yeah, you are okay. There's help around if you're looking for help. Uh, talk to people. Don't hang out with people you don't like because you don't have to do that, and you are okay.